Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Udo Sendai and in this video I show the effect section of Search XT that contains a huge number of effects. This is episode 4 of this great free and open source synthesizer. It would be great if you would leave me a like and a subscription. Then let's get started. The effect section consists of 16 effects unit selector blocks, the preset picker and the effect editor. The image shows very nicely the signal flow. Each block can be selected with a single click, deactivated with a double click, and with a right click you get the list of available effects and some other functions like removing the effect or clearing the block, clearing the whole chain and more. You can as well drag and drop the effect from one box to another. If you press Ctrl Command while dragging and dropping, the effect will be duplicated. Holding down the Alt key and double clicking on it will remove the effect. There are the scenes A and B on top and bottom with four effect blocks each. Clicking on the A or B icons give you the hard clipping options of the channels like on the volume slider of the output on the left side on every scene. In the middle is a send channel with another four effect blocks that is shared between the A and B lane. The send channels get their input from the scene output send sliders on the left side. Regarding which blocks you select, 1 and 2 or 3 and 4 in the scene output, the send sliders will be labeled FX send 1 and 2 or 3 and 4. As well, the send FX return sliders below the scene B effect lane, where, how the name indicates, you can set the return level of your signal. All the sliders in this section can be modulated by the macros and SLFOs. The three lanes sum up their output in a global effect lane with again four effect blocks and are sent to the output. So in total you are able to use 16 effects in addition to the synthesizer. In the header on top, a little bit left of the effect section, there is the bypass section. Bypass is by default off, so all effects are enabled. You can switch off the send channel, switch off the send channel and the global effect channel, or you switch off the whole effect section. Important to mention that you can control and check the final output via an oscilloscope and a spectrum display. You open these tools with right clicking on the level meter of the output on the top right position or pressing Alt O. In the top left of the new window you can select between oscilloscope and spectrum display. Please check the manual for more detailed information. When you select an effect block you can use the effect and preset picker and in the submenu of the effect you can select a preset or you use the right click on the effect block. When you open the preset picker, you find a preset called init that represents the default initial setting of that effect. Some presets have an init dry or an init send preset. These are referring to the mix slider of the effect that is set to 50% for the init dry and 100% for the init send. The init send preset is meant to use normally in the send channel of the effect section between effect channel A and B. As soon you pick an effect and select it, there will be an effect editor below the send FX return sliders. Starting with a named box where you can open the effect selection menu and below are two arrows with which you can scroll through all effects forward and backwards. You can as well just use the scroll wheel of your mouse on the selection box. And below these settings you find then the individual editor elements for the different effects. These elements and sliders can be modulated or controlled by macros and SLFOs. If you are into buying a lot of plugins, then you may stop here because here's everything you need. Together with Search XT's audio input, you can use these effects on everything. Let's go briefly through the main effects. These are put in categories, filtering, distortion, mangling, modulation, time and space, multi-effects. Let's start with the filtering. 
EQ is a parametric 3-band EQ with a high-quality algorithm. Exciter is an old oral exciter effect to generate harmonics for a signal. The Graph EQ, a graphic equalizer with 11 level adjustable bands. Resonator, a 3 band resonator that you can extend in the menu for self oscillating. Now the distortion section. Show is a half wave rectifier distortion effect. Distortion, a full blown distortion device with a pre EQ, different distortion models, and a post EQ. Neuron, is about non-linear distortion with a comp filter and different shapes for modulation. Tape is a tape emulation effect with tape distortion and degradation, as well as physical characteristics of the tape machine like the playhead width or tape thickness. Wave Shaper, the full-blown Wave Shaper module that you already know from the synth located between the key tracking and the filter EG. It has also the same huge list of different wave shaping algorithms and it has additional controls. Then we head over to the mangling. Compulator is like a resonator but with comp filters and additional settings like a mixer and a panning module. Frequency shifter is shifting the frequency up and down separately and has a delay and feedback slider. Nimbus is an implementation of a Neurorack module that provides a granularizer, a pitch shifter, a looping delay and spectral madness. A ring modulator with a lot different shapes and settings. Tree Monster. The manual describes Tree Monster runs a naive pitch detection algorithm on the input signal, runs a sine oscillator at the detected pitch then ring modulates the input signal with the resulting tuned sine oscillator. The vocoder, a 20 band vocoder that is using the audio input of such XT, modulate the carrier signal. The modulation category consists of a chorus, that's a four stage chorus effect. Ensemble is a chorus effect based on BBD, that's the bucket brigade device. A flanger, that's the flanger device with some different modulation types, comp filter, feedback and different output modules. A phaser with different modulation options, adjustable stages and, and a filter. Rotary speaker is a simulation of rotary speakers you may know from Leslie and Hammond organs. Let's go to time and space. Delay is a very versatile delay with many options, even a stereo widener. Reverb 1 is described as a classic and older sounding digital reverb. Reverb 2 is more natural and contains less digital artifacts. The spring reverb algorithm is an emulation of an old spring reverb effect. Now the multi effects. Air Windows is a collection of over 50 plugins of different categories like compressors, saturators, reverbs, EQs, pitch tools, tape emulators, stereo wideners, and so on, developed by Chris Johnson. You will need quite some time to go through all these effects that are as well available as single plugins on the website of Chris Johnson. A conditioner is a stereo image control and a limiter with an automatic makeup gain. The mid-side tool is a set of controls useful for transforming a stereo signal to mid-side and vice versa, with additional separate filtering for the mid and side signal. So my friends, this was the fourth episode of the Search XT workshop. I hope you liked it and sent me a hello in the comment section. My name is Odo Sendaidukai, thanks for watching and paying attention. I hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future, take care. See you then. Ciao, ciao.